quick revision video for all the colors you need to know for the transition elements topic. So starting with copper, copper 2 plus aqueous is a blue solution. Copper 2 hydroxide is a blue precipitate. The complex of copper with four ammonia ligands and two water ligands is a deep blue solution. And the copper complex with four chloride ligands, two minus charge, is a yellow solution. Moving on to iron now, so aqueous Fe2 plus is a pale green solution. Iron 2 hydroxide is a green precipitate. Now, if you leave this standing in air, you'll notice we're starting to get a sort of really brown colour there, and that's because the Fe2 plus is beginning to be oxidised into Fe3 plus. So this would actually be iron 3 hydroxide forming there. Aqueous Fe3 plus is a yellow solution. Iron 3 hydroxide is a sort of reddy brown precipitate. Aqueous Mn2 plus is a very, very pale, so pale it almost looks colourless solution. Manganese 2 hydroxide is a light brown precipitate which darkens in air. Aqueous Cr3 plus is a violet solution. Chromium 3 hydroxide is a grey green precipitate. If you add excess hydroxide ions that grey green precipitate dissolves and it gives this complex ion which is a green solution and finally the complex of chromium with six ammonia ligands three plus charge is a purple solution.